group of wanted to be friends, but alas, the light is fading fast and I need a big snapper to feed a bunch of people. There wasn't much around at all. But then suddenly all these chubs appeared. Not good eating, but amongst them there are sometimes snappers. And then no fish again. Or was there? Cubera, ooh baby. Ronald McDonald? Nah, just kidding. Just seeing if you're paying attention. Cubera again, getting closer. This fish was a powerful fish and ended up feeding 10 people in four boats for a couple of days. Beauty tips on sailing into freedom. We've got an eaten papaya. It's really good for your skin. It's good for burns. It's good for everything. There you go, Gigi. <laughs> That's so scary. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if you tilt your head back, we'll get a picture if it just holds on without you. Oh yeah, they do that. <laughs> How can I take a picture? <laughs> oh no, that's terrifying! No, no, no. I could see it in oh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the nose yeah. is oh, that's so scary! <laughs> it looks so scary! Smile! I am, it's terrifying! <laughs> okay, now lean back so I can, without your hands. I have to do the, the animal thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do that. Oh. Yeah, 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 do that again. Do that again. So creepy, really. <laughs> and he goes, oh. How you going, Hannibal? You look very beautiful. Thank you. Your beauty mask is excellent. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Sorry about your crooked mouth. It's okay, it's kind of scary. What do you think, Clara? Is it good? I'm terrified. <laughs> do, do, do you want to wear the mask? I didn't want to um, meet Gigi in the night with that mask. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Beauty Tips 101. Yes, we're a full vlog, people. We, we, it's a learning vlog. It's a bit of fun and games. It's a health vlog too. You're welcome, people. You're welcome. Ready for my beauty nap. You want some you want some painters tape to stick it on your face? I just can't move. Okay, enjoy your book. Thank you. Hannibal. <laughs> You can eat some pawpaw too. It's already on your face. My mum was a font of information of natural health and stuff like that. I was in a car accident and um, you know the, the explosive gases that um, triggers the, the airbag, you know, blowing up. I think it's hydrazine. I think they use it in, um, I think it's rocket fuel anyway. That superheated gases and what happens is it blows up the airbag and of course it escapes out the side because I think that's the way it's designed. Well quite often you get burnt face, neck, well it blew out against my wrist. I'll show you a picture of my wrist. This is where the burn was and this bit here was where it was like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mmm crispy. And my wrist puffed right up and it was, you know, the, you get that big blister and um, I immediately went out. Uh, to get a pawpaw, papaya, and I ate a bit of it and I cut off the skin with, you know, maybe about a quarter of an inch or maybe even an eighth of an inch of the flesh still on it, and I stuck it on the burn itself, the bubble, didn't pop it or anything, and I wrapped it up and I didn't wet it and I left it there for like four or five days, just in the same bandages. 
and uh, after I think it was about a day or two, it was getting itchy. You know, you were going, oh, I want to scratch it. And then when I took it off, it completely was gone. There no blister. It was tender still, but um, it was fine. And then uh, after like a week, very little scarring. So try that yourself. The doctors won't tell you to do it, but I'll tell you to give it a crack. You don't need to go to doctors, people. And you've also got 200 million years of evolution that, you know, your body looks after itself. So you should let nature take its course with a little bit of help with papaya. And honey, too. Honey's a good one as well. Anyway, you're welcome. Health Tips 101 on Sailing into Freedom. What do you think, Clara? It looks Jerry? like it's our last day on the boat. The strong wind billows the tarp and any water collected gets thrown off. It's a bit too strong. But we're doing probably about, a hundred, well it was doing about 100 litres, now it's about 60 litres an hour. It's going down all my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you know that dry bit that's, you know, in between your legs? It's not dry anymore, people. The things I do to get water. a relief. We've been on 15 litres or maybe 20 litres, maybe down to 10 litres every day for a week and topping up with little bits of rain at night and in the morning. This is crazy people, this is the fifth cell this morning. We're just spinning around a bit like the other night. I uh, got the motor running because we're like low on um, the battery power. I mean the wind generators, mm, yeah it's not, not, not cutting it but it's on as much as we can get it on. I'm just trying to look up the, this girl that uh, sent me an email, she wants to come on the boat. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, she uh, has uh, some knowledge of video editing, which is very important, people. That's the thing, uh, but not of Adobe Premiere Pro. But she says she's an eagle learner. Do you have any comments? <laughs> <laughs> any comments, Gigi? <laughs> She's, Gigi. A, she's, a, she's an eagle learner. Eagle. Eagle? Eagle. Like the bird? Eagle, yes. She le she learns about the eagles. Uh, she's an eager learner. Eager. Eager learner. Okay. Uh, but there's a, something in your... Sorry, there's something. Turn yeah, that way. It's probably a bug. It, oh, wait. Turn that way. <laughs> you're going to hit me on the back of the head. No, I'm, 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 uh, yeah. no, I'm, oh, I'm not falling for that old trick, people. I'm going to get it out. Oh, no, wait, it's just a knot of your hair. It's a rust out. <laughs> leave, leave Charlie alone. He wants to stay there. He's going to stay there for good. It's you have a little house. dreadlock. I've got like 17,000. <laughs> she doesn't get seasick. Really She's a synchronized swimmer. Wow. What? What? A synchronized swimmer. What is that? So they could you know when they the swim water. underwater at the same. <laughs> like, wow. That's but the so thing is, cool. that doesn't really it cut could... it unless she brings her partner with you. Otherwise, she can say, oh. "I'm synchronized swimming." Yeah, she could do it by herself, right? Yeah, but she's not really. When she's she... just swimming then. Yeah. It's not synchronized. When she can swim oh, right. like dancing underwater, it's <laughs> so cool. All right. Let's see if she's gonna answer. Okay. Did you give her a heads up? Time to her calling. It's just random. No? Random people. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. <laughs> Gotta keep them on she their toes. The I'm it's very exciting, people. Another crew. Potential crew. I'm nervous. How do you say her name? Go to you. Oh, we've got to ask you if she's a gypsy. 
Hello? Oh. Okay, granted, yes, not the greatest start to an interview with the gypsy question. And then it went further downhill, apparently, according to the girls. So they cut the sound. I thought it was going good. But then I had a kick-ass question to turn it all around, people. You're not overweight, is that correct? Ah, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm not overweight. <laughs> now, before I lose all my 11 female viewers forever, let me put it into context of cave free diving and being spry and able to fit through tiny spaces. Because there's a cut. What's wrong? What am I saying? Is that a bad you thing? You never cause... asked a girl about her weight and not in the first. Sorry, sorry. Because if she's a fat girl. Oops, sorry. A girth challenged girl. I won't. We're oh not, not going to be able to get through the cracks. Well, that's rude. I know what you're thinking, and you'd be right. I ought to be the manager of a human resources department in a major company. We may get sued a lot, but our female employees would look the best in court. How long can she hold her breath? Oh, yeah. How long can you hold your breath for? Um, my record was three minutes and twelve seconds. Ah, oh, you're hired. Oh, sorry, I get a bit um, carried away. <laughs> Yes, people, you will be seeing Galatea in future episodes. Mainly because of her synchronised swimming, because that would mean that she could really, really hold her breath. That's my story, people, and I'm sticking to it. Let's see if this starfish lands like a cat. Well, like a dead cat, maybe. Just checking out the island. The girls are a bit upset how there's so much rubbish. But I said to them, there's not much rubbish at all because, well, I cleaned it up a month and a half ago. right Mario keep an eye on the girls it's a full-time job my friend tedious yes at times but someone has to do it There's only so much yoga you can watch, so I cleaned up the island. Go, Geico Caveman, go! Look at that! As clean as a slightly used whistle used by a person with a mild case of halitosis. <laughs> 